Hey what's up guys welcome back with Anfa Ahmed today we are going to upgrade our laptop storage by using a SSD that SSD is from Kingston uh, the model is A400 and it's 120 GB SSD M.2 it's not uh, the regular 2.5 inch SATA SSD but this is also SATA but this is M.2 SSD that is 128 GB from Kingston Now let's take the SSD and go to uh, how it looks like in the package and the coverings. After that, we'll take our laptop and upgrade. And guys, uh, this is the Kingston SSD uh, A400 model, and uh, it it says 10 times faster, and this is 128 GB. And uh, there are so many things, but it's not regarded to this one. Let's take our laptop. It's an i3, eighth generation, and 4 GB RAM and 1 TB hard drive. Now we are going to put this GB SSD to that laptop. Uh, then it will run very fast. Now it is very slow because of the hard drive. It's running about uh, 50 to 60 MB. Uh, I think this will run around uh, 1000 or 2500 MB per second. Now let's take the laptop and see. Before that, we will see what are the things we need to remove and upgrade the things. Uh, we need the SSD; it's important. And the laptop. This is the laptop, and uh, we need a screwdriver, very small one, to remove the laptop, and a small card or something like this to remove the back case. And now let's remove the laptop, and we will uh, install the hard drive. And uh, this is the SSD. Now we will. Uh, cut this. Take this part. We'll take this, guys. This is the SSD. Don't touch these pins because it is used to connect with the laptop. We'll keep this SSD aside by putting this one. We'll throw this side. And okay, now we will. I have shut down it, and there was a sticker here. I have removed it, and uh, don't mix with uh, these nails because there are different different length for different nails. So. be careful with the nails otherwise you will break down the laptop and now we'll take this first screw these are very small nails and uh, be careful that you are not going to lose this and use a magnetic screw if you can otherwise it will be a mess so you keep remember of your the nails they are you removed and stuff otherwise you will be In trouble when you fix it. This is a magnetic or semi-magnetic one. Uh, this screw is for the DVD drive. Now we will remove the DVD drive and keep aside. There are lots of screws in this. And guys, we have removed all the screws and we have kept in order. Don't mess with it. And uh, we will turn to this side. And now this is the time. And guys. now you should open it and use this uh, stuff to remove from this sides be very careful yeah, this is plastic so it will break when you remove the starting point is very hard after that it is easy this is the hardest part Now slowly, oh, close the laptop and turn around and remove the chassis part. Be careful. And guys, we have removed the chassis part. This is the battery. This is the 2.5 hard drive, and this is the 4 GB RAM, and this is the Wi-Fi card, and here is the SSD where you should install. And there is a small screw. You should remove that first. It's very tight. And be careful! Is the it is the smallest screw. We should install the SSD. Just insert it. Here, 
it says like you can put the NVMe also. It, uh, NVMe means it's the very fa fastest SSD you can find in a 3.5 mm. Now let's install the SSD. Be careful. Just insert and put the screw again. Tight it very carefully. We can't put NVMe to this laptop because the NVMe is very fast like 2000-3000 uh, MB per second and it gets very hot so we should have a like a fan or something like to cool it down and there are some dust so we will clean it using a tissue paper and this is the heat pipe that's cooled down the CPU it's very slow there are some so many dust inside and guys we have installed the SSD here and here is the 1TB hard drive now we will install the chassis we will wipe down this chassis also using a tissue before installing the screws I would like to check whether the SSD is working by switch owning it then after that we will install the screws be careful when you open it S slowly open and switch on you know that now it's loading from the hard drive so it will be very slow we will speed up the video now we see uh, whether the hard drive is, can be seen or not uh, by going to the disk management search for disk management okay and uh, here you can see the sorry 120 ssd but it's not allocated first of all we will screw the laptop and guys now we will shut down the laptop before screwing down getting uh, shut downing still the lights are blinking uh, be careful when you close it slowly close slowly turn around press the force to make it very tight and put the DVD drive uh, slowly and now we will uh, put the screws and guys if you want to upgrade your RAM uh, there is a video in the card and the in the card here and the link in the description also uh, where I uh, upgrade my RAM from 4GB to 8GB and uh, it's easy don't panic it's an easy steps don't tie too much otherwise it will break the threads because this is plastic and we will turn on the laptop again be careful sometimes press it down very well and guys now we will switch on the laptop I have put a comparison video uh, in the card here and I will link in the description also. Now we will type the password. Thank you guys. Uh, if you want to uh, know how to clone the hard drive to SSD, you can watch it in the card or I will link somewhere in the display and the link of the, that video will be in the description. Thank you guys. Please subscribe, like and share. We will see you in a new video. Thank you. Bye. Peace.